This deadly plane crash sending shockwaves throughout the world of sports. Former star pitcher for the Phillies, Roy Halladay, he was killed after his plane went down off the coast of Pasco County. It happened this afternoon. Halladay called Tampa Bay home along with his wife and two kids. Fox 13's Julian Johnson joins us now live from Clearwater with more on this heartbreaking story today. Julian. Well, Mark, you know, Halliday spent the final four years of his career with the Philadelphia Phillies. He also spent a lot of time here at Spectrum Field for spring training. And today, Halliday was remembered not only as a player, but as a person. A promotional video showcasing a one-of-a-kind plane featured a man many also considered special and unique in Roy Halliday, alongside his wife, Brandy. She's fought me the whole way. Hard. I fought <laughs> hard. I was very against it. Tuesday afternoon, Pasco County Sheriff's officials confirmed the former Major League pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies and Toronto Blue Jays was killed in a plane crash. The view from Sky Fox over the scene showed a small white plane upside down in the water. We're told Halliday was the only person in the Icon A5 single-engine plane that slammed into shallow waters in the Gulf of Mexico. Many know Roy as a Cy Young winner, future Hall of Famer, one of the best pitchers to ever pitch in the game of baseball. Um, we know Roy as a person, as a, a caring husband who loved his wife, Brandy. Family members at Halliday's home in Odessa didn't want to speak about his death, and neither did parents and coaches from Calvary Christian High School, where he was a pitching coach. The worst case scenario happened, and it, it just it breaks our hearts. But Sheriff Chris Nako talked about Halliday's humble nature and generosity, specifically the money he donated to help the sheriff's office get a new canine. Canine Doc is out there working, saving lives, you know, making our community safer. As for what caused the crash, be it mechanical problems or pilot error, federal investigators with the NTSB are now being tasked with piecing it all together, a process which is only just beginning, as is the mourning for fans and family of the baseball great. I have no doubt he is looking down with God up in heaven. And tonight we know the depth of the water where the plane crashed was about six feet. And because of that, officials were hopeful that whoever the pilot was may have been able to make it out alive. Of course, we know that was not the case. And Halliday leaves behind a wife, Brandy, and his two kids. Mark, back to you. We are thinking about them. I can only imagine what they're going through right now. Julian Johnson tonight in Clearwater.